everyone thank you for joining in i think uh, i'm live i think everything is okay um sorry for a little delay and uh, uh i'm again in in a rush i didn't have that much time to prepare apologies i hope you can forgive me for that uh, so today i'm gonna talk about uh, lc0 currently playing TCEC Championship. It's uh, 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 the current situation is that uh, if it scores two draws in the next two matches, it would be tied for first with uh, Stockfish. Uh, fascinating, uh, fascinating tournament, lots of interesting games. Um, and I want to discuss some of my previous streams. Um, people pointed out to me that Leela LC0 was not blundering in TCC Championship and well unfortunately it did it did uh, when it was it was either finished today or yesterday I'm not 100% sure when it uh, when the game was played so but I'm gonna show it to you uh, it very very shortly now ethereal so the game I'm talking about was played yes yesterday uh, no, LC0 beat uh, Ethereal on April 3rd. And another game that I have here... Oh, it was played today. So yes, that was today's, uh, today's defeat by LC0. So, of course, a lot of things happened in the opening. So the opening was partially to blame for this defeat. But nevertheless, good evening, Mark. Um, so... I have, uh, uh, maybe you can let me know if I'm wrong on this one. I tried to search the TCC, uh, I downloaded all the games and uh, I checked whether this particular opening that happened. So I'm going to move to the opening I'm referring to. So this position obviously happened twice. So by so this uh, Nimzu Indian, no, how do we call it? New Indian, I'm not sure what's the uh, English version of, of this line is. So here where the book ended. Here D6 the book ended and well in correspondence chess there are zero games for this position. All of the games were played knight e4 because this is extremely critical for black to take over this square. Uh, so I'm not sure what was the purpose of giving this D6 move as uh, the one uh, to play for both sides. Um, truth be told uh, it is fair because you switch colors, right? So what could be the difference? Uh, Saurab asking me, uh, am, I consider, uh, am I considering uh, streaming on Twitch? For sure, I am. And I would, so maybe I would take a short break from maybe uh, tomorrow from streaming on YouTube and would, would try to figure out whether it's difficult to start at, uh, at Twitch. I'm definitely looking into that option. Thank you for asking. So it is fair that they switch colors. So LC0 won against uh, Ethereal in this position. We discussed this game some streams ago. Uh, the funniest thing about this game was that uh, Ethereal lost um, a table-based position, seven-piece table-based position. And we discuss I discussed this one in one of my previous streams. And so it blundered. It is all still a draw until one moment, move 90 something. It blundered that it was a draw. So. So this game uh, is like very tragic comedy, as you can call it. Mm, Queen's Indian, thank you, Valeri. Uh, so what I find unfair about this one, and uh, not mm, uh, so LC0 is is a it seems to me that is a better engine than than Ethereal, but nevertheless it beat LC0 uh, today with White. So what issue I have with with this approach, if if they all play if all the engines in top I think there are eight engines if all eight engines play the same position with colors revert against each other that's fair but it seems to me that they pick one position for each uh, individual match of two um, with, with, with colors reversed as well same position for two opponents but th this position never happened in any other engines so what I find unfair in this one is the following uh, maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, in order to understand whether something is fair or not, I like to consider exaggerated examples to prove a point. So let me ask you this. If, if, if they are saying that it's fair because they switch colors, 
I say it's not fair because if let's say, let's assume there's a huge difference in, between engines. Let's say LC0 and let's take some very old version of Stockfish. Clearly LC0 would be much stronger. But if they pick a position when they switch colors with enormous advantage for one side, let's say just to exaggerate to prove my point, extra piece in some weird opening line, extra knight for no compensation. The score would be 1-1. One, one. So you wouldn't know which engine is stronger if the starting advantage was so big, at least from computer's point of view, that, uh, well, white wins. Then you don't find out who's stronger, you just know that the advantage was very big. Right? So, for example, if in other matches they choose uh, playable positions where the position is equal and then they play, no questions asked. But if they choose a position where white has big advantage and it seems to me that white after d6 has a big advantage, you can choose your engine of your choice. Let me come back to the original position. So, it's not a huge advantage from human point of view, right? But uh, I'm gonna run my silly stockfish for a second to prove a point. All right. This is the evaluation of stockfish on this, so it cannot run fast because I'm running other processes right now. The speed is way too little. It should be a few times more. After queen c2, this is almost plus one for white. That's like full pawn up. And they, they both play the, the main line, c5, d5, exactly what happened in the game. Right, queen c2, c5, d5, takes, takes. So I think all the engines that you choose in this position, uh, what's the, can I see the evaluation here? Yes, 0 0.63, and here I can see the evaluation of another engine, 0 0.88. So depending on an engine, the evaluation is 0 0.7, per 8, per point, uh, plus 1 uh, for white. That's a huge advantage to start with. Uh, I'm not trying to defend LC0, it converted the advantage much worse than, than Ethereal did against it. So I have, this is the issue I have with uh, TCEC, maybe I shouldn't address it right here. Thank you Mark for agreeing with me. So one may, one may argue that the advantage is not that big, but I think that's a pretty big advantage. To, to start the game with. That's why 1-0, one, 1-0 zero, one, zero in both games. <laughs> it could have been even uh, LC0 scoring half out of two matches. So that's, yeah, so here I cannot defend LC0. So let's move on. I'm gonna mm, uh, switch to the game that I want to, to show you where LC0 blundered. Let me see, let me see. How do I do that? Yes, all right. So LC0 won that game that I just uh, refreshed in your memory. And now here we go. Uh, no, sorry, that's not it. Where is it? Yeah, here we are. Okay, so same position, same moves as in previous game. Knight takes b5, bishop here, bishop b7, and I think LC, uh, rook d1, knight a6, I think LC, uh, uh, Ethereal chose other move, queen b6, if I recall correctly, and uh, queen knight to a6, e4, so uh, this position from human point of view is very easy to play, you can go bishop to g5, you can go e4, white is simply better, because Technically speaking, black is controlling the center, but after e4, that's it. There's a weak square on d5, these pawns. You, you know, usually even if, even if this pawn was on d5, white would be better, in my view. Because those are famous uh, hanging pawns, I think that's the term in English. Um, it's easier to play with white, because any pawn movement creates lots of weaknesses. So, e4, queen c8. So, bear in mind, this is LC0 playing with black. Almost 4000 ELO leveled engine. Um, let me check this last game. It was calculating at speed of 100 kilonauts per second. I think this is twice faster than Alpha Zero did in the famous match two years ago. And it was considering... Uh, ah, no, it depends on the position. Wait a second. Let's say in the, in the position that it blundered. Okay, let me just go to the position it blundered. I'm gonna run my Stockfish to, to show how easy this one was for Stockfish and how difficult... Hold on a second, this should be right here. 
All right. Very weak stockfish. Has nothing to do with that stockfish. That stockfish is like 20 times faster than my laptop. All right. So stockfish is not a fan of rook e8, but that's not a problem. It's, it could be wrong. Knight f5, bishop f8, queen g5, knight d4, check on h6, takes on f7, back to h6. So black is one pawn down, um, but black has some compensation. The pawn on e4 is unprotected. This knight is not hanging really, but white's pieces are a little bit loose. So white continues the development with bishop to e3. And uh, I'll give it a second. So uh, Stockfish already doesn't consider knight c2 as the best move. Uh, oh, sorry, knight b3. Oh my god, lc0 played knight b3. One second for Stockfish, it sees that it's a blunder. So it didn't even consider knight b3 because on depth 18 it knew that knight b3 was a blunder. So in one of my previous streams I was saying that lc0 can blunder. Unfortunately it's the case. Yep, hanging pawns, Sydney ray is high, Mark says hanging pawns is correct indeed. Valeria, you cannot directly compare their notes per second, I agree. Um, my bad, I'm not a specialist there. Um, and Sam Duke's Alpha Zero uh, average note per second was 70,000. Okay, what was the speed here? Uh, although it's not relevant to, to, my, uh, um, to my observation, but let me see how many positions did LC0 uh, calculate before making the Knight B3 blunder. I'm gonna go to TCEC now in a second. I, I, I'm sure it's in the text uh, before the move, but uh, Yes, bishop e3. So it uh, calculated until depth 36, which is enormous for, in my view, for LC0, with the speed 25 kilonauts per second, and it counted 20, almost 22 million nodes, and it went knight b3. Can I see the number here? Uh, yes, uh, 2 million, 2 million nodes. And the main line was knight f7, that it was PV, uh, I forgot what PV stands for, like the, the main pivot line, and knight b3, knight f7 check, and knight d6. So it was anticipating this. And this is fine. The correct move here, well, if I may say a correct move, uh, yes, Sydney, this is life. <laughs> uh, all right. That would be a bad recorded video with all the technical difficulties. So, Stockfish would have played in this position, and that's my guess, I don't know a TCC level of Stockfish, but it says that Queen e6 is clearly the best move, so I'm just gonna play it for a second. And now Knight on h6 is hanging, so I'd really have to just move it. Knight moves to f5, and black can go, let's say, I think I, I uh, checked this, this, and move the Queen. So this is a bad position because white is one pawn up, uh, but black has some compensation because d5, d4 is coming and white's advantage is not overwhelming. And there was also move 9, knight takes e4, I think I checked. And the approximate variation looks like this, which seems like all these moves are the only ones. Rook takes d4 and bishop comes back, let's say, to c6. White is still one pawn up, but black has two bishops. There are some weak squares here. So explaining from human point of view, it's not from engine's point of view. White is better in all the lines within ha one pawn or one, one pawn something but this is not lost. So what did LC0 blunder? The blunder was, I actually find it quite weird. Such a strong engine that I love. I mean, okay, love is a strong word, I guess, but uh, I use it all the time. I use Stockfish to check whether, uh, uh, whether it, it, it is not blundering. Uh, Sam thinks that LC0 net are bigger than alpha zero, so you'd expect LC0 to have lower nodes per second. I'm, I'm not sure if that's the case. Maybe Valeri can, can help me with this one. Uh, um, still, dozens of millions of positions and blunder uh, tactics that... Uh, 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 that it's not hard. So the tactics is... Rook takes d6, if bishop takes d6, you give it check, and now you give a fork. And then you take the rook and you have lots of extra material, and black doesn't have time to take uh, on a1, because mate on g7 or knight takes f6 uh, comes and uh, white wins material. So on rook takes d6, you have to take that rook, and white 
uh, I think white can take, you know, take king on f6, white gives check and play rook takes f6 and uh, white has chunk of pieces in front of the king which none of them can be captured. White has mm, knight and two pawns for, for exchange that rook on a8 that probably would never move. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm always trying to find like a human, uh, human, uh, oh it says Wait a second, knight f7, here rook takes, yes. I'm always trying to find like a human explanation. What unexpected move did it blunder? Because just like Stockfish, Stockfish also can blunder. I'm not sure if it blundered in this TCC championship, but I have positions where Stockfish can blunder as well. So it's not like, so the engines are not perfect. Even almost 4,000 ELO engines that calculate. So LC0 dozens of millions positions, uh, Stockfish 1 billion I've seen in one, for one move it 1 billion positions. Yeah. Uh, rook to f6 and so hold on a second I have a weird okay yes. Um, Rook to f6 and I'm not even sure what it didn't see. White is materially not down. White's attack is overwhelming. Bishop e7 maybe seems like a move. I didn't check bishop e7. What happens on bishop e7? Knight d5. Knight comes to d5 and if you take it's knight takes and it's a mate apparently. Wow that's brilliant. Rook g8 and now bishop joins. Bishop f3. Wow. Okay, so this is for stockfish obvious win, not for human. If bishop takes d5, what happens then? Queen takes d5 and you cannot take the rook because of discovered check and mate. So I'm not sure. Rook takes d6. My simple stockfish just found it just like that. And uh, that was it. That's, that's alpha zero's blunder. My bad. LC zero's blunder. I keep... They are like... it's. Yeah, they are brothers and sisters. So what else, what else surprised me in this game was that later when, when white was completely winning, I think in this position, yeah, in this position, uh, I checked the, I'm not sure how these odds are being um, measured by LC0. So I remember I think uh, when, uh, who, who wrote the book about Alpha Zero? Matthew Sadler. Matthew Sadler was, uh, made a book about uh, LC Z L Alpha Zero and, um, and they gave him Alpha Zero to analyze Caruana Carlson match. And in one of the positions, I think it was giving like 90% win for white or something. Um, so what surprised me in this one, this is what I'm trying to say. At some moment when white had extra queen, yeah, extra queen for a rook. So Ethereal gives 100% win for white. 100. Some, uh, somewhere uh, at some appropriate moment, it started giving 100% to white. And LC0 was given, so this is completely like um, my six-year-old can, can win this one. Uh, Seven-year-old can, can win this uh, against uh, LC0. And LC0's odds were 79% for white. 68 percent like why why would it be 68 i do not know but uh, maybe it's starting from some number it's just uh, uh, it doesn't have that much evidence to base uh, the statistics game changer by matthew sadler yes and oh natasha regan i didn't know that she, he had a co-author okay um so thank you for for that sydney reyes so that's what surprised me. How can you evaluate this one is not completely lost? I don't know. So maybe, maybe a LC0 enthusiast can help me with this one. But LC0 can blunder. And it seemed to me that it wouldn't lose a single game. So partially I, I blame the opening. I blame the opening. I think it's, uh, it's fair to figure out who's stronger between two engines. But it's not really fair to figure out between in this case what how many of them are eight how many of the wait a second cross table let me see yeah ten ten engines are playing each other okay so 
um, it's not fair. The advantage was too big, that's why two wins for white. But then again, it's not an excuse for LC0 because it barely won his game with white and it's just completely lost in how many moves? This is ridiculous. Move knight to b3 is a simple blunder. So I'm not sure what uh, people who support LC0 can do about that. Uh, I hope it... Uh, uh, but uh, you cannot teach it to learn on, on this mistake. I was told that uh, it is only when, uh, when it's playing against itself it can learn and these, it cannot learn on these games. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. So there's another example. In the previous video uh, I showed uh, a position in which Stockfish and uh, some versions of LC0 can blunder. There you go. That's the position where the strongest LC0 you can get uh, has, uh, has blundered and uh, I'm not even sure what to... So it makes this tournament more fun because, because if not this loss, uh, even if LC0 played three draws, it would be in a clear lead. Uh, so now if it plays two draws, it would tie for first place with Stockfish, which makes it more fun, I guess. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say in today's, uh, in today's stream. That LC0, maybe some sometime in... If you want to see uh, Stockfish blunder, when I say blunder, I also put put this not seeing a win as a blunder as well. So like if you would play a move that loses. Um, you can feel free to check out my channel. There are lots of materials there where Stockfish cannot see the win. And uh, yeah, so even those master engines, neural networks on super machines still are not flawless. So there's no limit to perfection, I suppose. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you don't have any more questions, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, you can check, check information in the um, description of the video. Tell your friends, put like on this one. Thank you. Subscribe, ring, uh, ring the bell or whatever the, the name, click on the bell. Uh, take care and have a good evening. Stay safe. Goodbye.